Hello everyone, uh, uh, welcome back to my channel, Tableau Tip Top. Uh, today, <clears throat> um, I'd like to bring you uh, one of the very unique side-by-side uh, -side bar charts. Uh, I, I don't think anyone have done this um, before. Uh, I mean, um, I mean it. Uh, everyone have done it. Uh, it, it. I think if someone have done this, uh, you the um, um, you know uh, SQL um, you know uh, to come uh, in order to support to do this one but in order to use Tableau alone to build this one I don't think I don't think so so um, I spent uh, a couple of hours you know uh, just to help one of my friends uh, to deal with this so uh, I think that uh, useful I think that uh, interesting uh, to share with the, com uh, the community here right so so what I what I have done before is the side by side budget but um, it's in the same category it let's say uh, if this is a year so it should be two years right um, or this is the category so this is the subcategory it means um, on the columns uh, bar here it normally in the same category but in this section, you can see uh, two side-by-side -side bar chart here. It's not in the same category. It is sales and the profit. Right. Okay, and um, you may you may tell me, okay, it, it that's Tableau can help that easy. Right. Um, I think it, it Tableau have some function to do that. But in order to to add one more light. Um, using the draw axis uh, i think that the, the, the default function in tableau doesn't help so that's why it's, i like to share this uh, quite complex um, using the couple of techniques um, and i think that that uh, that's gonna be the the good chance to share with uh, with you okay um so how do you do how do i do okay so let me uh, start from fresh uh, first of all, I go from the um, data source, right? So I have here with the superstore data, but you can see I have another order in here, another order table in here. Right? Um, how I do this and, and why I need to do this? Right? Okay. First of all, let me um, tell you why I need to do this right? um, the reason is when I try to print uh, to measure you know uh, together in, in here uh, you know I, I don't view the measure value or I don't view the measure name because the measure value and measure name you cannot use in the calculated field right? so that's why I need to create the um, uh, my own measure value with the sale and profit together and uh, I use uh, this orders table right um, in order to create a line here I need to use another uh, another tables in here so I call that the order one right? um, and how to how to join this I think it, uh, it you, you may um, you may hear about the relationship in Tableau, right? It, it, it easy. You just uh, you just go go to the um, data source and just drag the order into the area here, and you can see it's automated. Uh, um, you know, try to connect. Right? Okay, so so because I already I already uh, I already joined, I already uh, uh, connect the uh, the um, order the table orders with another uh, with with itself with the, another table um, so I don't need to do it again right but just show you it, it uh, um, on the data preparation so I will join the orders table together with with with, uh, with it with with themselves with itself right okay so actually you can see the same order here you double click it's the same 
uh, is either good from the uh, the new version of Tableau. Right? You don't need to do the uh, like the join or the or the uh, planning. Right? It's your relationship. So actually, it it look like two separate table, but actually it it connect together. So how I connected one? So actually, I use just the the other IDs and then order and then with the uh, order IDs in the in the in the second table and subcategory with the subcategory in the, in the other table. So that's it. Okay. So again, the reason is I use this one to create the my measure value, uh, which can be used in the calculated field. And then the second table I use to create a line uh, in order to do a group of right? So I go into here. First of all, I create uh, this is this is just a fixed number. So I created what I call the space, just I put 0 0.2. This is this is just the help you to adjust the distance uh, between between the bars in the you know in the group, right? Okay. So I created what I call the x-axis here actually. Uh, the first of all, I, before I create this one, so I will go into the 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 first table, right? Um, so first of all, I back it to normal. So in the first table, I will use the sales and profit to create two bars, right? So I first of all, in order to bring that into the measure, uh, combine that into the measure, I select two of them, and I use the pivot, right? Okay, and I just rename it. This is the business result, and this is the business result value. Right? Okay, so I have two of them. So you can see in this table, the column sales and column profit it disappear, and it combined together in in the one column here right so now I back into the um, the visualization the worksheet and um, I will create the x axis you see what I say I say in the business result we see the column with the two measures sales and profit I say if the business result uh, I use the case statement so when it sells, so uh, I will put that uh, move a little bit to the left hand side, and it is profit. I move a little bit to the right hand side, right? So that that's it about the the the, the um the x axis. Right? So I bring the x axis into here. I'm sorry, into the row, right? And I want to have is in Crown so I will use the table, um, the, the, the table calculation. So I will print the month into detailed, right? I convert it to month, and then I, uh, I do the um, uh, calculation using the other day. So that that will use 12 months of the year here. You will see that later. Uh, second thing is because this formula, I use the uh, business result. We see the, the column I created before. So I bring the business result into the detail. Yep. And I will print the business values into here. So now you can see, right, in the in the business result, I have I have sales and I have the profit. I have sale profit every month, right? Okay, this is the first step. So I will make it a little bit, uh, you know, different in the color. So I bring it into the color. Um, so I can bring that into the label as well. So you can see one column is sale and one column is it the profit. So this is the first one. I need this one, just fit this from 12.5 and I go to the tick to put it step by step by one so you can have drum ones. 
So I will print the space into the size in order to adjust the bar, right? right. We're going to adjust the bar size and then the distance, right? You can make it overlap if you like. Okay. So now, move it in here. Get my here. So now I want to create a line, right? So again, back to back to uh, the data and arrangement. So the first, uh, the first um, table, we already use the sales and the profit to pivot to pivot sale and profit into the one uh, column here. So you cannot calculate this. These, uh, the, the profit ratio. So we need to use these uh, second table. We see, we see, we still have the sales, sales, and the profit into column. So which means we can create the profit ratio, right? So okay, so back here. So the profit rate ratio here, I adjusted that to the sums profit rate uh, profit divided by the sum of sales. But they use the data in the second table. We see the orders one, right? Okay. So, oops, sorry. So now I print the profit ratio into the road in order to create these um, the, the two axis, right? So I go into the second one. Um, I change it to the light. Yes, I remove. Uh, things is not necessary here. So now actually you can have the the the, the, uh, the profit uh, profit ratio here, right? so, and then it's uh, it, the, the data point is actually in the middle between two columns, which is good. Um, you may need to print this, you know, the color. Okay, so I, I, we might uh, need to um, use the color of the profit ratio. So let's print the profit ratio into the color. So we can we can change the color here. So let's say I want to use uh, the um, the green color, the green the green and gold. Okay, that's fine. Uh, just give two step and maybe take the bench. Green and go. We can start from zero. Yeah. No. So just just make that um, each one color. Yeah. So just make that in one color. Right. Uh, this 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 is just a trick, right? Uh, it's it, um. You need to have this um, convergence color with two color here, but if I remove the one color go down and then the remaining um, uh, will be will be the second color, right? Which is all the all the color is green. Okay. All right. This one, this one. Okay. Um, I think it's uh, it the. Uh, Let's put the profit ratio into percentage. Okay. And uh, is it anything to put the label in here? Yeah, put the label. So, and then let's format this to the percentage as well. Okay. Good. The next step is easy, right? So just a two axis. Actually, you can see it, right? So, so now we can have it, right? Sales, profit, side by side bar, and together with the profit ratio. Okay. 
Um, so you just do the, you know, a, a, a further format in order to make the slide like you like you want, right? So um, so this is about the, the, the short session today that I'd like to share. Um, I hope it um, you guys if still have any, um, you know, uh, finding the way to, um, to uh, do the, uh, you know, multiple to measure uh, side by side bar together with the live charts. So I think it, this, uh, this video will uh, give you a help. Um, I hope you find that useful. Um, thank you very much and have a great day. Bye bye.